Okay. Okay. Have not told you this news yet. <gasps> Mortgage approved. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Just got the news about ten minutes ago. In work. No way. Yeah. Delighted with myself. Is that why you're early? Well, it's why I have pep in my step. Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. Have a bit of a. Pep. You arrived through the door a bit like well. Didn't uh, didn't sit in the car just scrolling through my phone. You know? Yeah, you know, <laughs> scrolling. Just usual for you. <laughs> you buzzed. Buzzed. What yeah. happens now? Now all I have to do is get buy a house. <laughs> the yeah, easy part. Buy a house. Um, get your one to sell us our gaff at a price that we can agree on, and bing bang bosh. Oh. Hopefully we'll be in our gaff by Christmas. <gasps> With a bit of luck. Fingers crossed. It's the only fucking way we're getting a gaff. Let's yeah. be realistic. Yeah. And you are very welcome along to the Unpopular Opinion Podcast. My name is Jen. And my name is Carla. Um, um, just a little disclaimer on last week's episode, first of all. Because we feel people are a bit, um, like, turned off messaging us. Th- that episode was not about you messaging us. It was just a conversation around people who can just get a little bit too familiar. Like me, texting Paris Hilton. Well, saying fair play check. <laughs> what was really interesting was um I don't know if you saw it, I put it in our uh you know, our end of year roundup on our Patreon, which you can get for six euro <laughs> Um Steve from Bear in the Big Blue House yeah. came back and did a message for like all of his viewers. Okay. And it's really like did you watch Bear in the Big Blue House? I were you a little old? Bear in the Big Blue House. This is not a, I saw a thing about blues clues earlier, right? Oh, sorry, blues clues. Is it different? Is Bear in the Big Blue House different to Blue's Clues? Absolutely. Oh. Bear in the Big Blue House is... I just saw one thing and I decided it was that. Okay, so Blue's Clues. It's Steve from Blue's Clues then. Yeah, the American one. The American one, yeah. But that was... the Yeah, so that was... Yeah, now, now I'm understanding. So Blue's Clues, yes. So Blue's... So he came back earlier and gave like a little kind of check-in and was like why I left and just checking in and thanks everyone and you know mm-hmm. but in his very do you remember how calm he was i didn't watch the american one i had was it kevin your man that he was Ke- in um kevin he was a scouse fella the english one now we're gonna do a notes book oh like my God. yeah notes book. he was your man he was he's been in loads of things like he was in that uh what's that fucking thing where they're in space and it's real, like, he had, like, a H on his head. You know that English comedy show? And they're in space. No. But it's not, it, I didn't find it funny, but it's one of those classics. Oh. He's really, I'm going to, I'll give him and I'll show you his face. Yeah. And you'll be like, oh, my God, yes. Um, but back Sorry, to Steve. Sorry, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> so back to Steve. So Steve came back and he kind of did a little message. It was very, it was very cute. It was kind of like, he comes back and it's done in that style of, Blue's Clues. But mm. Then I got really into uh, researching him. But <laughs> okay. You know, all this morning, 7 a.m., you know, when you get up and you're just going to look cool. But uh, yeah, so he kind of comes back and he, he came back and he kind of gave everyone like a little message being like, hey, you know, mm. this is why, like, not this is why I left, but he was kind of like, it was just like a check in almost. Yeah. Um, but afterwards, like the memes were going crazy and it was like, there was one that was like me, I hate parasocial relationships. And then Steve from Blue's Clues, I'll never forget you guys, me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we were getting at. Yeah, no, it was just a general thing, but I think people probably thought that we were going, that we were like telling, saying it's weird to message anybody on social media, which absolutely wasn't the case. We thoroughly encourage people to message us for this podcast alone. Yeah. And I... I did say in that episode as well, I felt like influencers and content creators should definitely be excluded from that because they, again, actively tell people to DM them or interact in some sort of way. Yeah, no, I I think, look, I'm not going to do a disclaimer on it because I said what I said. Mm. Um, But context is everything. Yeah. And um, 
at the end of the day, guys, like just a few people have been like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed for messaging you oh, now. No, and I'm like, no, no. Absolutely no, no, no reason for that. No, there's absolutely no. So, gas, I was completely wrong. He wasn't in that um, other <laughs> show. He's coming up with he was something the else. image of him, though. Uh, oh, okay. I'll show you the English one. You just Google Blues Clues UK. Kevin Duella. Him. I, like, Are I, you sure that's not the guy who took over from Steve? No, this is, this is a Blues Clues UK. I just remember, see, I... Because there's a Blues Clues on now, and it's a fella, he's an Asian fella, and I don't know what his name is, but he's really like, hi, guys, we're about to do... And, like, it's so much more, like, it's with the times now. I don't even think he has an notebook anymore. I think he has an iPad. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Like, it's after moving iPad. on. Now, I, like, don't call me on that. I'm just... It's very... um. I just dip in and out. Like, yeah. I, Bobby's not a Blues Clues fan. He's more, really? more Mr. Bean. He likes that Cocomelon. Cocomelon and Mr. Bean are his jam. Mr. Bean. Yeah, the cartoon Mr. Bean. I wonder if Ron Atkinson gets any royalties from that. He fucking voices the does thing. He, That's uh, where he gets he? his paper. Yeah. No way. Because he created it. And Clever. he voices Clever, that man. and he writes and he produces and all like that for it. Because like Mr. Bean, the live action, like him acting in it, yeah. was, only lasted so long. But because it's such one of those, again, quote unquote classics. And like... I would sit there and watch it and I'd be like, oh, it's just one of these things, you know, where it's so so slapstick. But for some reason, it just sticks in people's heads. Everybody knows them. Yeah. But the cartoon has gone on for many more seasons than the live action one. Like, that's... Wasn't there only... It was like a very small amount of Mr. Bean episodes. Like 15 episodes or yeah, something like something that. Something yeah. like wild. And it was yeah. like, they just kept rehashing yeah, out the same shit. Yeah, we talked about it in our... Where are they now? He, uh, Rowan Ak- R- Atkinson. Miss him. Yeah. Bless him. Yeah, no, that's where he gets paper as a cartoon, Mr. Bean. Such a big, like, it's a, it's so successful. You wouldn't believe, you wouldn't realise. Yeah. Kids yeah. shows is where it's at. Yeah. Oh, like, I was actually just, like, researching your man and, um, around Steve. And this, st- like, the stuff that he's got to do. So when, like, they didn't want to cast him, it, first of all, because he was quite grungy looking. He had, like, longer hair and stuff mm. like that. But he tested the best with uh, preschool audiences. Oh. Yeah, so that's why they ended up hiring him. And then by the end of it, he was like directing the episodes and writing and all that other stuff. And he eventually um, quit because he was losing his hair. Okay. And they wouldn't let him shave his head. And he was like, I've just aged out of it. You know what I mean? He was like, it's the whole... Mm. But he's the one who... His little brother, quote unquote, took over. And then they got the cousin to do the other show. You know, but he very much was still in the background, kind of like making that transition. Okay the best yeah. for people but yeah i was looking it up and then he went on to do a bit of music he's done some other films he's done some other kind of things but that's like set him up for life i'd say he made a fucking mint yeah like you go. It's, it is kid shows is where it's at and like because it's reruns isn't it yeah and yeah. even little baby boom and cocomelon and everything like the fucking money they get off off youtube ads alone yeah that's what i mean it's like there's a different way of monetizing things nowadays yeah but then i feel like like i was looking at, <laughs> sorry so off topic but we know you love it because it's nostalgic so you know the way s club seven isn't s club seven anymore yeah so they went to s club three yeah and then they went to s club two Mm -hmm. and then every time somebody joins on it's like four or five or whatever else like that apparently they got fucked over and they got like no money yeah wasn't there was it a documentary no that was steps sorry um, oh my god, I love that one though—the carnage and that steps the one. Carnage. They hated each other. Fucking hated yeah. each other. Yeah. yeah. Now S Club Seven was around that era though when yeah. they all got fucked over with their management. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's weird because yeah. it's like nowadays I'm like, oh, you can monetize that, monetize things so much easier. But then I'm like, I feel like you don't get paid as big no, as you did back then because everything's a lot more. It's not as exclusive, but yeah. it's like that. You can, and like stuff is just so much more accessible. Like even you would think Coco Melon. Our little baby bum. Like, they're just short music videos. Like, that's what it's called. Little baby bum. Yeah, that's what it's called. And there's different versions. Like, little baby bum was a certain way. And then it kind of progressed into, like, they were more characterized. And, like, there was more diversity, I suppose, in the characters. Like, I, the family was blended. And it was, the mom was Asian. The dad was, like, your typical yeah. white American. Like, it, you could see the stark difference in it, but there's no real timeline to it. It's really weird. But then Nef- it's on Netflix. Uh, see, here we go. Like, this is where your Netflix kind of becomes... Sure, that's what they were saying about the Kardashians, isn't it? What that they were going to go to Netflix because Netflix is going to offer them a big fucking chunk of change. That's how you know. 
No. They're, e, e has has their stuff on Hey You, but they are supposed to be coming back with a different TV show. Oh, are they? Just a reformulated. Of course. Yeah. One that they have more control and make more money I was from. going to say, it's probably a different contract. They probably yeah. just wanted to... That's what I mean. Okay. I think they aged out of their E1, and I think... Mm. Yeah, I suppose. They're probably going to start their own network. That's what I mean. It's probably going to be called the K Network or yeah. something. K, K with exclamation mark. Yeah. yeah. Upside down <laughs> question mark. I'll be like, I, I built you E. Yeah. I fucking built you. <laughs> Made you. In um, fairness, you did a lot of them. But all this talk of nostalgia, mm. we're doing a lovely episode after this, aren't we? Oh, we are. Yeah, we're doing a Reeling in the Years episode on Patreon. We're heading back to 1996. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited. And this time I'm not going to read out the whole plot of Casper. That was, it was fun. I still haven't watched it since then, but I'm like... I'm gagging to gagging. watch it now. Yes, gagging. I think it should be our first movie club. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. <laughs> fucking gagging to watch it so now. Weird. So I just decided so many random things about it. So yes, over on Patreon, guys, yes, we do additional content. So if you're listening to this now and you enjoy it, why not come over, come over there? Listen to... A few more episodes. Let's yeah. just say five, five a month. Will we say five? Five a month. We'll, five say, a month. Five. we'll say five a month, um, including a guest episode. We had the amazing Fanula on. We recorded a good nearly two hours with her. Got really into it about many, many, many very topic. People are loving that one. Yeah. Yeah. That was a popular one. She's I such a talker. They like she? it though when we're mates with the person. Yeah. We just <laughs> what we've noticed. Shy. What we've noticed. Yeah. So we just have to get really good friends with some A-listers. Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. We need a blue tick. We'd be a bit more credible. I feel like we get home. You can get one. I, uh, do you want me to admit something to you? What? I applied for one as a, an experiment this week because I was in Lowe's newspapers. Did she get rejected? Got rejected. <gasps> yeah. No. They say, so they really, I was doing it as an experiment. Like, I don't fucking want a blue tick. Do you know what I mean? No, but I you have, I, what is it? Three relevant media credits, isn't it? Yeah. But so you definitely have that from like your credit union ad, from your acting and from your love hate scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's more, so they need, because I Googled myself because you have to, when you're trying to get verified on Instagram, you can self apply. So you go on and request verification. You should do this as a, an experiment. I definitely won't get given a fucking blue tick. Uh, but, be what, like what, for t- fucking putting on a bit of eyeliner and talking shite in the internet, it, Carla, no. But see, this is the thing. So you apply for your verification, you upload your ID, your national ID, so your, like your passport or mm-hmm. your uh, license or whatever. Then you have to attach three links to like publications that you were in oh. or that are about you. And I hadn't Googled myself in a while because I'm afraid of the title coming up and I just don't want to see it. Yeah. So I had I was like, oh, fuck, I better Google myself. And like three brand new, like the fucking, I don't know, what what fucking, was it the examiner took something from me TikTok and wrote an article about me and then... And you didn't know? I, I didn't know. But that Do is you know, so crazy. But I found like new articles about myself and I was like, this has, if this doesn't get it, then I'm just like... Nah, you need an agent or something, you know, to get verified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I and put, they rejected you. That's yeah. rude. So I attached them, and they made made me they made me wait about a week, and I was just like, because I'm just doing it as like again trying to do. It. I'm not. Don't go around thinking like, ah, oh, that fucking gentleman thinks that she's something else. Do you know what I mean? I just wanted to see, but then it was like, no, your application didn't meet our criteria or whatever. And I looked at the criteria, and it's and it like it really punches it in. It's like. A blue tick doesn't make you more popular than somebody without a blue tick. It's, you have, you get a blue tick if somebody's, like, impersonating you and you need a blue tick to verify that you're the account. Um, Like, as in, you could have a thousand followers and still have a blue tick. It's specific reasons. I just would have thought the way that they make you attach the publications... Like, why? You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I just Googled my, my name there. Oh, and see, this is the thing. I didn't even want to. I was uh, terrified. Sorry. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not terrified. It's the usual bullshit. But um, I uh, it's the RSVP. You know, Tom's burning tans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's also a Carly K real name. Oh, they want to know your real name. People are fucking so <laughs> strange. <laughs> when I Google Jen Hatton, Jen Hatton age always comes up. And oh, rude. <laughs> Jen Hatton job. Yeah, they oh. don't know where I work. Rude. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna shit. fucking tell you. I ain't tell you anyway, shit. this episode is about ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> That's your favourite. Ghosts. Thing, isn't it? That's your favourite, like. I, 
neighbour had a dog called Ben and they wrote a little poem about him and it was Benny Boo had a boo in the middle of a shoe sort of ghost eating toast halfway up a lamppost and then when you say ghost eating toast it's lamppost I don't know why I do it that entertains you huh it makes it more fun it makes it so much funnier Um, so we're talking about the phenomenon the phenomenon the phenomenon of um, getting ghosted. So ghosting is when somebody cuts off all communication without explanation. Mm. So that's the part that's important. It's not about you having a mate, uh, fight with a mate. It's not about you having a fight with the fella. Mm. It's about cutting off all forms of communication with no explanation. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Question. Um, yes. If by some miracle you meet this person in years to come and they go here. The reason why I did that was because is it anymore is it a ghosting anymore that you've gotten the explanation i think it's a ghosting at the time isn't it because that would be but then the ghosting gets revoked when they explain it no i think <laughs> it's still you were still ghosted you were at, at a point in history you were ghosted. yeah at a, po- at a point yeah. in time you were registered yeah. on the registrar well it's not just exclusive to like romantic relationships or friendships like i i often ghost um just like Spam emails. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> emails from PR companies that they obviously haven't researched me and I'm just not going to... I'm on their to-do list still. They're still emailing me looking for an answer and I'm just like, you're based in London, right? Yeah. Your, your brand is English. Yeah. You haven't looked up where I'm even from. Yeah. You're not getting an answer. So you can't cross me off your to-do list. I go with them. Ooh, boo. Or have I? Because I, I wasn't in contact with them in the first Whoa. place. <laughs> <laughs> I ghost you sometimes when you text me too late and I I know you do you fucking ghost me often and I'm always like just talking to myself here just yeah. literally just fucking hurrying messages I, saw, I mean sometimes I'm busy though but sometimes do, you, don't, rarely, you don't you don't no well, yeah I have a toddler Carla believe me I'm busy <laughs> fucking hell no but sometimes you just don't need an answer to a stupid question I have to have a night you know what I mean <laughs> I fucking I don't respect that <laughs> I, I don't disagree. respect that. I disagree Carla, with that. Carla disagrees. I don't think I ask stupid questions. I think I ask. I think the best friendships though are the purposeful friendships that fre- <laughs> purposeful <laughs> questions. Thank you, you fucking little bitch. The questions that are sorry. The conversations that you can just like leave leave and go, off. Go, go back. <laughs> Not to, give her an answer. Go back to her in five yeah. days. They're real friends. They yeah, know Carly are real. Friends. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Thanks for that, <laughs> bitch. Um, so. <laughs> Now I know. Now I know. <laughs> it's not ghosting if it's explained, apparently. So I've take me off the list. Take I've, me off the. I've revoked it. I've revoked it. Take me off the registrar. Um, so, yeah. oh, you're spitting out your coke now, huh? Oh, now you got jokes. No. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so ghosting is, it's kind of became, I can't remember the first time I heard of it, but I remember being like, knowing immediately what they meant by it. Yeah. yeah. You Isn't that mad? Didn't need an explanation. Didn't need an explanation. Yeah. No. There's loads of things I'm learning lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, no, that's real cool. Uh, but a lot of people think it's like about texting and all that other stuff. It's it's really like you can you can ghost in many forms. Pretty much anyone. Many formats. I think a lot of people do associate it with dating. I think it became popular. It's like this whole fuck boy, ugh, another term that I absolutely fucking hate. Mm. Um, because I think it gives men power, but um, and they don't need any more of that. No, they, they don't. don't. No, they do not. I think it, it's one of those things, isn't it, that, that people feel like it's a real. I think it's the easiest to do with dating, and mm. it's the most frequent thing that gets done with dating. Yeah. But you know, I I know many people who have friend ghosted. Yeah. I've been friend ghosted. I have friend ghosted. You know, mm-hmm. many different forms of it. Mm-hmm. You can kind of like. I mean, you can get bloody. What you call it? Recruited ghosted as well. You know? <laughs> yeah. I ghosted a pen pal before. Did you ghost a pen You bitch. Tell me all right now. I went to Kerry. That's so rude. I don't know what's so weird. I went to Kerry. You don't even care. And I met a girl called Kerry, Kerry in Kerry. And she, you were just like, head exploding, mind blown. <laughs> well, we differentiated going to Kerry by saying we were in Killarney. Um, <laughs> but we, no, I met her. I was 12 and obviously it was a staycation it was just kind of like it was the first <laughs> time yeah it was a little staycation you know we already told you it's not a staycation a staycation is where you stay at home and you do activities in your own county and you return home at night that's oh. a staycation that's a holiday a holiday to any other county is a holiday 
because okay. it's away from your own home. Huge misconception. Though. Yeah, there you go. I think we spoke about this with Nadia, possibly. Oh fuck. Yeah, my brain's not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, but I was in Killarney and I met a girl called Kerry and we were little mates and she was I would have been the more boisterous of the two of us I would say she was very innocent I still yeah. remember our face yeah. um and I remember her like not being allowed to get wet like she'd meet me outside the pool and I'd be like coming out and be hair stopping wet walking down to the little like little gaffs that there was on the so she had to watch thing. you swim no she didn't watch me say, swim she just kind of came up when she knew I'd be finished and then like walk back with me and then waited for me to bring me bags in and like all that sort of shit and she was like, let's uh, be pen pals. And I was like, that's grand. And we must have, she pen paled me first. Then I wrote back to her and she wrote back to me. And then I stopped. It's not that I stopped on purpose. I was just one of those. I was overwhelmed. I was young. <laughs> and I kept going like, oh no, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do, I was busy, you know? I think, I'd say you fucking forgot about it though. I Eventually, yeah. I'd say she did too. Yeah, I just, I feel bad. And I just don't want to have hurt our feelings. Kerry, babe. If you're you are, out there. If your name is Kerry and you lived as a child in Ashbourne County Maid, I am sorry. <gasps> she was a Dublin girl as well. Ashbourne is in Maid. Well, she was a native. Well, I don't know why I decided to start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dub- uh, Ashbourne is full of dubs. Like, but yeah. No, she, she had the little maid accent and all. She was a native. Big apologies to everyone from Maid. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I decided yeah, that. I wouldn't mind to fucking hate the dubs. Maid? Not that they hate the dubs, but I remember working with a girl, uh, uh, like a girl from mid before, and she was highly offended when anybody thought she was from Dublin. She was like, "I fucking not from Dublin," as she said as she worked in Dublin because she couldn't get working mid. Yeah, you know. But anyway, uh, yeah, I ghosted her not on purpose. I, I kept meaning to get back to her. The way Just you're kept saying. meaning to get back to her, which isn't far off my personality these days. Yeah, I've been inbox full on Instagram. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I will get back to them. Absolutely. I'm still 99 plus requests. So apparently if you don't get back to them within the, within immediate, the chances of you getting back to them goes down to like something stupid, like 20% or something. And I would, I would have to say the same. I go into that message request folder. I'll be like, I'll get back to them. Yeah. It doesn't it happen. Doesn't, it, and then more come in. You're like, fuck sake. It's not, e- but it's not even on purpose and it's not out of rudeness. I genuinely don't have the time. Because in your brain, you're like, got back to them. Yeah, I don't know what, it, like, I'm just, I like, because even when I do get a few spare minutes, I'm like, no, actually, Jen, you need to fucking calm down and sit down yeah. and stop yeah. because you've been going all fucking day. Like, sometimes you do just, like, when you have your spare time, you need to just relax. Yeah. Um, and I'm just finding that an awful lot lately. Do you know? I'm just like, I literally don't have the fucking time to even text Carla back. So... Yeah, don't Jen. worry, guys. If you've, you've <laughs> yeah, messaged Jen, she you. often leaves me on red and I, I own a it. fucking business with her. So yeah. it, could be, you know? it could be worse. Um, I have ghosted mm-hmm. and I have been on the receiving end of being ghosted. Um, and some of them, I'm like, yeah, I totally get it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I would have ghosted me too. <laughs> Explain. So I kind of let myself get to a point of like getting overwhelmed. Mm. And that's when I'll just be like, shut down. Okay. Do you know? So like there has been kind of, there has been a couple of people that have just gotten overly intense. And I feel like. What capacity? Like friends? Friends. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about guys separately. But like with fr- with some friends, I've just felt like it's just gotten so. Mm-hmm. Like there's, there's some, you know, there's some friendships that kind of end quite naturally. Like not end naturally, but it'll be like you reply, they don't, you know, in that kind of way. And you're back and forth whatever else like that and it kind of comes to a natural mm. regression you you kind of fall out of contact I mm-hmm. suppose as much as you would but there has been people that I've just out and out been like no this is me done like and I've had to do it and I oh, was like, like you very act- yeah and it was like a decision yeah actively made yeah. the decision yeah, yeah. Okay. and it was like this is getting there was like incident upon incident upon incident of like things that were just getting my back up do you get me like getting my heckles up and I was like this is this is almost going to be too hard to try and break away from. Right. I think that, look, being ghosted is a form of emotional abuse. Mm-hmm. Like it is. It is. Like it, it is. Yeah, like when you break it down, it is. It's not fair. Like it's, it's. When it's, there's no explanation, you do get paranoid. It's revoking communication mm-hmm. is, is what it is, you know, and that's not nice for anyone, especially when you've had an open line of communication and you're an adult, but mm. I know why I did it. I know why I've done it. I know, but the people who ghosted you know why they did it. Yeah, exactly. And like, 
I think the number one thing to do if you've been ghosted is to think like why and then you start going over things and you're like what the fuck and blah 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 and I think especially with guys I think it's like they just don't want to have the the biggest thing for ghosting in my opinion is they just don't want to have the conversation yeah because it's it's going to be too heavy of a conversation um and that can be an immaturity thing that can be there could be many many reasons to that but I think that's what it kind of boils down to Mm. like I got ghosted by a guy now he lived in a different country but we were seeing each other we were pretty full on for like a summer um and just one day he stopped replying to me and then the Facebook photos went up with him and another bird and I was like ah ah okay that's what happened but then when he got back in touch I was like now never do that again Mm. all he had to do was say look x y and z I was like you live in a different fucking continent yeah um but then do you know what I did Got back talking to him and then ghosted him. <laughs> like an asshole. <laughs> and Petty LaBelle came out that day. I think you, yeah, I think you talked about this one before. Yeah. Because I yeah, remember yeah. going, oh, yeah. you're a fucking savage. Yeah, so there's been that. I, I think there's other things like, I mean, I, I wouldn't call like if you've been like chatting to somebody on Tinder and they just like, I wouldn't call that. Ghosted. Getting ghosted. Like, I and feel I mean, like. I think sometimes if there's a, and it could be either side say you have one person and another person and they're talking on Twitter or not Twitter tw- Tinder and one person decides I'm gonna marry this one yeah and then the other one ghosts them yeah and you this get is, ghost they, they would put that down to a ghost and, and this is where it gets a bit kind of technical doesn't it because I'm like there's some things that are really and we'll get into listener stories now in a bit but there's some things that you're like that is so callous mm. and fucking dare you do you mm. know but then there's other ones where it's like, did you like chat for ages and then you met up and had one date and then you never heard from them again? Because then I'm kind of like, it is getting ghosted, but is it that bad? Did they owe you an explanation? Being That's what I'm trying to say. I think if you are talking to somebody for a good while and he's going on a date and you never hear from them again, I think that you're the problem. I think maybe look in the mirror. <laughs> like... You love that. I do. <laughs> you love accountability. <laughs> I love a bit of accountability, but I'm just like... I don't think it's fair, though. That, like, it's a bit of a weird one. I'm like, is it fair or isn't it fair? Oh, no, Did they it, owe it, you it, an explanation is where I'm struggling here. I don't know. It, 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 it's so personal to... And, like, down to the actual experience. Down like, to the chat, down to it, the... Yeah. The chats are, are one thing, and then going on the day. Say, for instance, I'm chatting to a bloke on Tinder for about three weeks. We decided to meet up. We meet up. He is a fucking asshole in one way or another, or he's just like the he's ick. He is ick reincarnated. Yeah, it's as easy to just blank him and to never speak of this again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I mean. Well, do you but think is it that fair? He, do you think he deserves an explanation? That's what I mean. Does he deserve? <laughs> that's where I'm struggling. But what's my listener awesome? poll? We're gonna put it up. What? I'm going to ask you guys on the Instagram on Sunday when this premier, premieres. <laughs> Although what? I will be in Spain. What? You will be in España. I will be in España, being tan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'll be a- like, hi everybody, it's me, Hilaria. <laughs> you know, answer my poll about being ghosted. <laughs> cucumber. Look, it's me. It's me, mm. Hilaria, cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. I am Maria. Yeah. <laughs> I had it done. Oh, it's so crazy over here, you know. We just eat tapas, we siesta. <laughs> it's crazy, you know. <laughs> Hola, Senor Ricky Martin. Um, I don't know what's more hurtful: getting told that you're you're literally ick walking That's around I mean. on legs, yeah. or getting ghosted. Like, what's... is it like? Because this is my thing. Like, if I, if I was to be honest and be like, here, listen, the smell of you, I felt like gagging. Yeah. I can't actually look at the way that you eat. I can't believe people eat like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like. That when I look at you, I feel like physically vomiting. You make me want to die. Do you know what you I mean? You make me want to unlive. What is more hurtful? That's what I mean. And I feel like that's where it's kind of like, you don't want that person in your life anymore, right? Absolutely not. You might, want them, <laughs> you might want them in the future, but for right this second, you, you don't want them in your life anymore, right? So you've kind of, you've made that decision in your head. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you don't know how to communicate that to someone. Mm. and that's where it's like th- this is where it gets a bit sticky because like for me personally like how do you turn around to say even a, like a friend or somebody that you're friendly with and be like you were too fucking intense blah 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 blah. Mm. this that and the other you did this 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 and this which was a roaring red flag you know 
you got moody about this, you know, that kind of way. And it was like, couldn't, you were so heavy, you were fucking triple texting me. Mm. Blow my phone up. Blow my phone up. Replying to every story. Yeah. Kept trying to keep the convo going. Like, I'm a girl who likes to go quiet. It is so easy just to go, isn't it? That's what I mean. Is it justified? When you're under Sometimes. Receive, when you're under receiving end of it and you think you're fucking like an angel walking around a place. Well I think can't be easy. I think we can go through some of the stories that we have here and we can kind of say just why you're not. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. A boyfriend I had when I was around fifteen posted on Facebook that he was single and that was the last that I ever heard of him. <laughs> oh my god. That used to be brutal. Not justified. Not justified. That's rude. Mm. That's embarrassing. That, but that was the pinnacle. Like back in the day when you declared yourself single on Facebook, that was the pinnacle moment where th- shit was official. Now, think back, right? It's myself and Adam. We get together in 2008. Mm-hmm. We're on and off. We're, yeah. we're glitchy. Yeah. Glitchy as fuck couple. Yeah. Yeah. For the good, a good year and a half before we actually try, started getting yeah. serious. Yeah. And then another good five years before we actually got really serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in that year and a half, there was often times where I'd just declare myself single. No. I'd get the check. He No, he'd get the checks. I wouldn't ghost him and do it. But it was just you like, get we are dis- done. And then I'd be single on Facebook two minutes later. And he'd be like, oh, I see where I stand. See, I think that's okay because he knew. I know he knew, yeah. But it was that's what I'm just saying. That moment, that Facebook moment, it was pinnacle. Yeah. Uh, question box here. I sent saucy pics to the wrong guy, blocked them, mortified. Now he lives on my road. Ox. Is that a ghost? It's not, but I'm happy that I, we got your <laughs> your news. <laughs> well, I suppose it is a ghost. Saucy thing. pics to the wrong guy. Yeah, because Oh, yeah, so she ghosted him. Well, blocked him. Well, you if you sent him to him, which means he had his contact details, which means he knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? you there, was, there was an exchange. There is an exchange at some yeah. point. You know, you don't mm-hmm. just randomly send a nude. Um, Scarlet for my life to this day. To think back on a time that I, a foolish teen, genuinely believed the well-known fuckboy in the year above me in school seriously fancied me. After weeks of flirting and sneaky sniff, shifts, sniff, sniff, like fuck, sniffs in his armpit, shifts, I was becoming more intent on getting an answer for what are we? Oh, <laughs> and he said I could call him my boyfriend if that's what I wanted, which was which. Or sorry, why was I flattered by this audacity? Um, I rang him the next day on my lunch break of a little summer job and he told me, I'll ring you back when you're home from work. Your girl waited from 6pm that evening to three weeks later <gasps> when he was on Snapchat stories in a pub, underage drinking, getting back with his ex. Thank you, next. Ghosting level 100. Delighted to bump into him two years later. Him, a single Pringle, eager to reconnect. For me to tell him that I'm in a very happy relationship, which I am still in now. You snooze, you lose. Good woman yourself. The bounce back was epic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it incredible. took a it took a while, but she got there. That's what it's the payoff justified. of the yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when someone says they're too busy to reply, but has time to open the message and read me. <laughs> so this <laughs> is kind of like where the curiosity killed the cat. Because yeah, because I can't see a message come up and not read it. Okay, so of course I can, but by the t- it's like by the time you gather. I don't feel like that's fair. Okay. Like by the time you gather, like say for instance, I I do get a lot of you know, and I've said it a hundred thousand times on my fucking Facebook my makeup page, where people be like, "Hi, I'm having issues with this problem." Blah 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 blah. I've tried this foundation. Mm-hmm. My skin is X. Blah blah. Like it takes me five seconds to read that. Yeah. Ten Could years take me to up reply. to ten years to reply because yeah. you have to consume all of that info. Mm-hmm. Like if it's like, "How are you?" Grand. Grand. Mm. But like, is that, that's not what you're asking by asking somebody, how are you, or you're trying to have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, I so get that's you. why I'm like, is that fair? Um, is that fair? No, I think, think, well, especially me, like I'll say, for instance, I will get a message and I think, all right, coast is clear. I'll open the message and I'll open it. And then shit hits the fan at home. Bobby fucking falls, like yeah. climbs up on the table and falls off it in the second it's taken me to unlock my phone. Like, do you know what I mean? It, it, and often, like, that's the occurrence that yeah. happens. Like, shit just go. And, and I think any mother of a tod- toddler can fucking relate to that. Like, you just can't, you can't actually navigate your time. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, that, that, in, that can go for anybody. And, and like, something could just come up or somebody could ring you or, you know, it could just go out your head. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you open a message or reading it, somebody rings you. It's Ray. This is the cost of a trolley, Carla. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, by the so, way, he texts back that evening. Uh, was that last? He? That was last. That week, was wasn't Patreon. It? Like we talked about Aldi and uh, Little. Oh yeah, and he texts back later that night, being like this big long explanation. Oh, message. you knew it happened. And he was like, "If you'd like me to get you a quote for blah blah blah, <laughs> I can work on that tomorrow for you." I was like, no. <laughs> so he didn't have the answer. The, the quotes of a trolley that much. He didn't have. He wanted with Ray. It can never just be top line, can it? It has to be. Yeah, well, you did say that. I could probably just go. What's the cost price of a trolley? Yeah, go on. Cost price. <laughs> well, we're here. Of a guys, the things you guys are missing trolley. on Patreon. Wow, 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 wow. That was a good one. Oh shit! Hang on a second. It's quite expensive. <laughs> um. Oh no! Hang on. What is that? Is that like a fucking vintage thing or something? Three hundred and nineteen euro. No, that's not correct. No, absolutely not. Hundred and fifty. That must be a fucking Ferrari trolley or something. That's ridiculous. I don't know what the cost price. Yeah, if anybody it knows on units, yeah, I'll ask. I'll push like a Ray. factory. I'll price. have to call him because otherwise, I, and even so, I'll still have to stay on the phone for twenty five minutes before he can tell me. He'll tell me about the birth of steel. He'll tell me about <laughs> Jesus. The What's price the of these are ridiculous. I, I told you they're fucking saucy. You find them in the Liffey. Why? They're gold mines. Melt them down. Yeah, melt them down for the metal. Um, next one here. Sorry, we digressed again. Uh, okay, I've been ghosted. Plus, I'm a ghosty. I think it's okay because you kind of know the score. Yeah, I do. I agree with that because some, some people that I've been ghosted by, I'm like, I understand why you're doing it. I don't like it. Mm. I don't fucking like it. It's rude. It's fucking rude. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I get it. Yeah, I I've been ghosted by a friend. Me and another friend have been ghosted by a friend, and we talked about this in the friendships episode. And we, we still don't know why. I haven't got a clue. Really? Have seen her since. Hey, how are you? Oh, congratulations, you had a baby. How's it going? And, and she's off with you, yeah. The look yeah, that bad. I got. I'm like, why though? Like, we were always trying to get in touch with you. Like, when the yeah. re- friendship was happening, when it was mm-hmm. an active friendship, she was always the one that was kind of like, needed to be approached she wouldn't approach you like we'd yeah. always text her to find out where like and invite her out and yeah. tell her what we were doing to you know like tell let so she could let us know what she was doing so that we could include her or not like if she, depending on whether she was busy or not do you know what i mean like and then she uh, like i remember she had a, a medical condition and like on night nights out and stuff she got bad sometimes and yeah. like we'd always leave to accommodate her or do whatever she needed to do like there was never any Ma- like there was ever, never any badness or like kind of stale attitude towards her around like that so we can't fucking figure out for the life of us why we were ghost to her. yeah but i think it is it's one of those kind of cases where it's like oh it was my yeah it was yours i'm just gonna put it on do not disturb that's all right can i pull this down yeah go on is that is this an iphone it's an iphone ain't you it's not doing that for me it's like no computer says no that's not absolutely that's not carla's face under any circumstances right you can pop that over there Thanks. They're cut off for me. You've got my full attention. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Um, what was I going to say? I was talking about the May ghost to me. No, I had something to say. Oh, okay. God. That was unfortunate now. Ah, sh- you know, you see? You see? Ghost of that conversation you did. Cause you, no. got, <laughs> you got. 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 You got. 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 My mortgage broker has ghosted me. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Can't relate, really. ha! <laughs> not the same as Jen. Though. Jen has a different experience of that. No, well, no. In fairness, when you don't fucking hear from them, I'd like I'd like to know more details. How long has it been? I feel like I might know that person. Maybe I don't. Okay, this is the name. I feel like they might have. They might message in about might, Did we have a quote? I think I might have talked to them before about it. Okay. Um, worst ghost of my life is also the funniest story ever. I was dating my friend's boyfriend's friend. Okay. Friend's boyfriend's friend. Yeah. So it's like me dating one of Adam's mates, right? Yeah. He was from the UK. Mm-hmm. And they're spicy over there. Uh, came over for a weekend, maybe third or fourth trip over, and said he needed to go to the airport to sort out his Ryanair flight for a few days later because he couldn't get through to customer service. I lived very close to the port tunnel, so said it was a quick spin and then that we'd go for food after. He went into the airport and never came out. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
He got on a flight and my friend rang me to tell me. Didn't notice that he had a backpack on him going in. No text or phone calls afterwards. He called me to apologize around four years later, which was gas. Oh my God. So hold on. You were dating him for, came over for a weekend, third or fourth trip over. So it's like you. Yeah. You're establishing a relationship there. Yeah. So like, it's like the fourth. Mm. It's intense when it's it's long, far distance. Like like it's a couple of trips later. Um, well, he said he needed to go to the airport to sort his Ryanair flight for a few days later because he couldn't get through to the customer service. That is so fucking. So he just. I was, was like, just about to say that's very 1996. Isn't it like with the internet and Twitter and everything? Imagine you sitting outside. Oh, God. How long did she wait? How long did you wait? Oh, girl. Well, she, now, in fairness, she said it was the most hilarious story of her life as well. It, so, like, I mean, it is quite funny the fact hinged. that it was like just sitting there being like, yeah, grand. And then being like, oh, and then it being like, it's been an hour. It's been two. It's been three. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. That's a bit shit, though, because you, you could be like panicking. Absolutely. But then she did say her friend called her to tell her. That he had gotten on a flight. So how long were you there? I need an update. Oh, I need, need to know. An update. I need to know more. Uh, right back to her. I can't wait until Sunday. I'm, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just can't wait. Uh, best friend of six, ge- six years literally ghosted me because my mom threw out a tracksuit bottoms that she left in my house. Honestly, will not recognize me. It's been 11 years and also they were s- <laughs> Slazenger ones. Slazenger. Oh, Slazenger. Yeah, Slazenger. you know the tennis brand with the fucking Puma or whatever it is. Oh, jumping. fuck you know that off. One with the little tigre. Um, can we just take a minute to process the mindset here? Also, Carla, not a Puma because Puma would have been Puma. Puma. Yeah. That's not a Puma. It's the... Panther? Is it a Panther? Is it... <laughs> I f- am I... Let anyway. me just Google this real quick. Just Google that one. Uh, it's a re- very tennis brand. That's all I know. Research department. Hang on a second. Puma, no. <laughs> oh, she's typing back. <gasps> oh, she's going to tell us about <gasps> the, the airport? Just... I need to know more. Oh, there's Slesinger Squirts. I want to see this brand. Does it have an animal? Oh, it does. It has a... Is it like a panther Let's or a see. cougar or something? It does look like the Puma one. In fairness to it. It's very similar it to It is. Yeah, yeah, that's a panther. Panther. 40 minutes. The okay, guards that's not moved bad. Me twice. Oh. <laughs> which is a time barometer that only applies to Dublin Airport. <laughs> I was about to say, like, do, would she have been in the set down area? Like, that's... People would have been getting pissed off. Especially the taxi drivers. I'm going to say, what did you think had happened? I just want to know. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're getting, we're, she's live tweeting her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I just, opinion. I just, like, I just, uh, I'm just, <laughs> we're discussing on the podcast as we speak. <laughs> um, so can we, let's uh, dissect this a little bit. So she, her mom threw out tracksuit bottoms. A very normal thing to do. Absolutely normal thing to do, but she got ghosted for it. And this is what I meant to say earlier. Okay. About you and your ghosting situation. Mm. We experience relationships differently. Mm -hmm. And we pick up things differently. Oh, I absolutely know that, yeah. So, for instance, like me and my sister were having a conversation um, about somebody. It's always with sisters. It's always with sisters. And we were having this conversation. And she was kind of upset or like she was a bit kind of like, not hurt. You don't. It stung a sentence that somebody had said to her. Mm-hmm. Whether it's, I was like, oh, I wouldn't pick up anything from that. No. Whether she was like, no. Th- like, and I was like, nah, no, no, no. Think about the context. Like, had to go through it. I was like, no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be stung by that. You have to remember. But she just couldn't get over it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I'm yeah. telling you now. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, in that kind of way. It depends on the person. Yeah, yeah. So like maybe something like you took her home from the club but maybe she felt like you could have done more you know in the way that you're like but that's not a normal logical explanation but in their head it could be people are narcissists you have to remember when like, people yeah, are insane i know i know like we're it's, insane it was just yeah no because we we couldn't fathom it just with the amount of effort that, on our behalf yeah like that we would put in with her and it was just like to be fobbed off i must actually text me friends later on and be just like here do you ever do you hear from her do you ever hear from her because the two of them work together so they were more they were more close than me and her were do you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah it was yeah it was just a very strange situation i don't know but i don't know that is funny though because uh you know when like that i saw a video it was actually a girl on TikTok and she just had the caption up and she was just like when your sibling is telling their version of your childhood yeah, <laughs> and the, yeah. ba- the background what? music of it is ah oh, it's the motherfucking remix yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that's so accurate oh, that oh, is stop. my sister thinks I made up so much shit 
I'm like, no, that's how no, I remember like, no. it. Genuinely, that's how I remember that's it. That's how I remember it. So that's my truth. I'm living in my that truth. I'm living my truth. to live in yours. Yeah. Uh, literally just been ghosted this week. Sent a friggin', send a friggin' text. I'm a big girl and I can take it. Yeah, and that's another. See, that's what I mean. Sometimes it could just be like, hey, mm. I don't see the connection. No hard feelings. Yeah. And then if you ghost after that message, it's fine. Because you've said all that you needed to say. Do you get me? Yeah. It's done then. Yeah. You know, like we said earlier on, it's kind of like it's a rock and a hard place, though, isn't it? Because it's like, do I tell you what I really think you or do I ghost you? Which is easier for me. That's Har- what I mean. Harder like, for you, but you'll get over Harder it. for you, but you would you would hate what I have to say. Yeah. You would hate it. You would just hate it. <laughs> you would, you would just simply, you would not recover. It's the curiosity as well. Yeah. You'd love to know, like, and the paranoia that you yeah. get with yeah. a ghost. and like, like You just want to know why. Um, I'm ghosting part one. It happened to me for the first time this week, went on a Tinder date on Friday that I thought went really well, and so did he the next morning. Monkey over the eyes face. Okay. He was so complimentary when together the next morning saying, I was beautiful. Oh, I see what happened there. Uh, (laughs) You're only getting it now. (laughs) The slow. I didn't get, yeah, I thought he was... they had, they, so had oh they had God. SEX They had SEX No they couldn't yes, have They, they only went did. one date They couldn't have done that no They way. absolutely had SEX Oh yeah, yeah The Lord wouldn't like that <laughs> uh, Oh God No way uh, Oh yeah so Complimentary went together the next morning Saying I was beautiful Funny Amazing etc Pretty much had to tell him to fuck off Yeah that would have given me the ick I would have been like no mm, Get out Get out I know I'm a great spin But <laughs> You need to stop. <laughs> you know? um, I wasn't too pushed on meeting up again, but said, yeah, we'll go for a coffee on Monday. Texted a bit over the weekend. And on Sunday, I said, see you tomorrow. And he said, just say where and time. On the Monday, I let him know when I was finishing work and where to meet. Hours go by and I got a text saying that he has an earache. I said, oh, that's something for the GP. Not a fucking word since. No follow up. Obviously, he didn't come up to meet me, uh, meet with me, but nothing. I know he's lost interest. That's grand. I wasn't that pissed. Or sorry, I wasn't that pushed, but I'm pissed off that he was rude. It's only one date. I won't take it personally. If you don't want to meet up with me, then that's a you issue. That's not a me issue. Absolutely accurate and correct. Part two. Now, I've also ghosted two people in the last week. (laughs) (laughs) I never met up with them, so I don't know if it counts. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, see, this is the digital age. Yeah. Um, both were messaging on Tinder. We moved to WhatsApp. Oh, I love, I love the moving on to WhatsApp. First message was, I'd love to see you in your sexy pajamas, which just means that you'll be receiving a dick picture in 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Um, the conversation had been about work. Oh, for fuck's sake. The migration, it's just, it's it's iffy territory. uh, So blocked from WhatsApp and unmatched from Tinder. Justified. I would say justified. Absolutely justified. You got the ick. You're not coming back from that. You knew what he was getting at. Said it pr- so many times before. The minute that the conversation turns sexual, before you're ready for it, you're just like, mm. absolutely not under no. any circumstances. Um, I think the rule of thumb should be ghosting on the apps if you've never met is fine, but even if you've gone on a date, just let the person know that you're not interested, just so that person can stop wondering if you're going to contact them. Yeah, people who ghost months slash years into a relationship are see you next Tuesday. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, that's fucked. Like that's so, so many people, it was like, <laughs> you know, those stories. It's like my dad went out for milk. Yeah. What the fuck is that about? I know. But you see, these are the things like I feel like people, especially um, I don't I don't want to offend anybody with saying an actual age, but you know when they say like the midlife crisis kind of thing. Yeah. People can just it's a mental illness with them. They'll literally mental illness, isn't it's it? It's mental with illness or it's a personality sort of thing where they just turn into this like they they don't give a shit about anyone but themselves. Narcissist. But they like they go from being a caring, loving person. I specifically know of one man who did You're it somebody to his in wife. Your head. You're somebody no, in mine. I know of a man who did it to his wife and fucking great husband, like <sighs> lovely, grand, like yeah. flush, do you know what I mean? Like really fucking happy the two of them and all of a sudden just by stop See giving ya. a shit about her. Wow. Just like it's like, right, that's us, we're split up, that's grand. I'm going to bring another woman home to our house that I know we have CCT on the door, CCTV on the front door and that you're going to look back and see me walking out of the house with this woman and just move to a different country with her. Even though we've been on this IVF journey. Like, it just fucking bonkers. People are strange. They just flip. Yeah. I There's know. a lot of people who do have that little trip switch yeah it's a bit uh terrifying an update on the dublin airport story uh, more. oh love it more 
um, I asked, what did you think had happened? Just out of curiosity. Because mm-hmm. obviously we found out that it was 40 minutes. The guards had moved twice, God bless. Uh, she said that the key was massive, but that there was an issue with the booking. Okay. Gas to look back at how oblivious I was. The whole, I need to go to the airport to sort, sort out my flight should have been sirens enough. No. That's what I would, no, that, yeah, no. I said that. It sounds what? very 1996. You don't go to the airport in an age where Twitter exists. But at the same time, you would have been like, what do you mean you're going to tweet? Like, Hi Ryanair, can I change my flight from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Sometimes tomorrow? Sometimes you don't get a fucking answer until you tweet them and like, Hi Ryanair, can't get through to anyone on the phone. Sort your shit out and then they're straight on you. Because they're, they have somebody manning Twitter all the time. Our email. No, like, I see. I wouldn't tweet bookings. that. I wouldn't tweet that. Online I would have been like, bookings. yeah. I would have been like, no, deal with my presence. <laughs> In person. I would have fallen for it. I, I'm sorry. I would have fallen for it. I'm so putting instead it, put of log- right there. Yeah, 100%. I would have been like, yeah, go to the airport and fucking tell them, fuck you. You should be in sorting out my flight. I wouldn't even know where to go, like what desk to go to in the airport to sort out, sort out something with Ryanair. You just go online now. God, that's so terrifying, isn't it? Like imagine thinking that you're dating someone and everything. Like you have to do, you have to process so much in your head. Do you know, that's like, that's the unjustified go- to a different ghosting. Country. Unjustified ghosting. Absolutely. Fucking rude. I, I love the fact that you can laugh about it now. Yeah. But an unjustified ghost, I would say. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the last one in the box here says, I've ghosted a few friends. I basically got the ick and ended up hating them. I feel bad though. Well, if you yeah. feel bad, that's, that's, you know. Look, the ghosting and the ick go hand in hand, don't they? They do. They do. They really are. They, they just, they just hand in hand. They love it. Um, this is terrible. And if the question is, am I the asshole? Then the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> so years ago when I was on Tinder, I arranged a date with this guy. Now I'm 5'11", so height is important. I have a friend who's also 5'11", and she says it's one of the most important things. What? Yeah. Why? Because I said, like, she goes, I just need them to be similar height or taller. And it's the same with my friend. She's like, I'm not asking for fucking... Oh, height wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so this guy told me he was six foot. He lied. When we met, he was around five foot four, and the bar, <gasps> oh, and the bar we arranged to meet in didn't have any seats, so we had to stand. <gasps> I was literally looking down at him and bending down to his height to hear him. It was so awkward. Mm. Anyway, we had one drink. I offered to go to the bar and get the next round, which was which I was fully intending on doing. But when I got to the bar, the door was right beside it. Oh. I don't know what came over me, but I just up and left. He tried ringing me after like 15 minutes. I ignored the call and I blocked him. My only time ghosting anyone and seven years later, I'm still riddled with guilt. You are a fucking mad bitch. Oh God. I would feel I guilty as well. I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal though. Do you know, it's not even his height. Like, I think it's justified in the fact that he lied to you. So like, does it, that was a red flag first of all. If he's telling you he's six foot and he's five foot, that's a big difference. It's a big difference. And look, it's like this age old fucking, not even that age old. It's like this 21st century argument, isn't it? Where it's like, girls are shallow. Look what they're like on Tinder and look what they're like on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I saw actually a tweet the other day and I, th- I thought it was funny because I was like, have I read this before? But I actually hadn't read that before. So I saw a tweet of somebody saying the same, saying that she she's 5'10", but she tells lads she's 5'8". Okay. So that when they arrive and they're shorter, she's like, sure, I'm only 5'4". And they're like, are you sure that you're 5'11"? Are you sure that you're six foot? Yeah. And she was like, and just to see the look on their fucking faces. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, a boss bitch. Fair. A bossy girl. But, oh my God, the door. I mean. Oh, I feel, oh, do I feel sorry for me? Lied to her. Like, I can't. Like, I, I, me I force- think I might have, I might have bounced and I might have called him from the car. My first reaction there was like, like, oh, God. Hey, I've gone. Yeah. I just don't feel it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I do feel like... But you've got him out. You've got him out on it. Like, you could have paid 50 quid in a taxi to get... Do you know? You see, this is me thing. Unjustified. (laughs) In the first instance, I was like, oh, my God, you fucking bitch. Me me little heart is just going out to him, you know, standing there at the bar by himself. Like also, he knows. But also... He what lied. He yeah, He's a liar. liar. He's a liar. Do you know? Yeah. At the same time, I'm like, no. Do you know what I mean? Like, he lied. Like, you know, and it wasn't that he omitted it. He outstraight lied about his height. And I think also we have to look at, like, there's a couple of different factors to consider. Yeah. Women wouldn't care about men's height if we weren't fucking sold this idea of femininity and masculinity and yeah. how we should be and how we should act and how we... And some of us have hang-ups with that. Just yeah. like... A lot of guys will be like very out, 
out and out on their fucking dating profiles being like no fat birds exactly they've yeah. been sold this by no ugly boots yeah do you know what i mean they've been sold this by yeah yeah whatever for however long do you get me so mm-hmm. in a way i'm like yeah. it's not right there's a lot but of facts it's okay do you know yeah. <laughs> Whitney Houston. <laughs> Whitney Houston said that. Quote. That's him. It's a quote that. from Whitney Houston. Yeah. Uh, somebody here said, I thought this was going to be paranormal, and I was about to say, no, thanks. I won't be listening. Because <laughs> you're talking about ghosts. And- I know. And somebody said, I thought this was going to be about ecstasy. A few yokes. <laughs> oh, we saw that coming in last and night. She actually, was like, yeah. I'll just leave now. And I was like, kiddie <laughs> up, let's do a whole podcast about ecstasy. About yokes. Here we out. Let's take some drugs. <laughs> oh, do you know what I want? I want people to tell us their their stories their stone stories well, we remember i told you we w- we should do it but we need to do it legally we go to amsterdam we oh, record yeah. a podcast gonna, yeah. on a load of edibles yeah we could do it here but it wouldn't be legal oh I, I don't so, want to do the edible thing though why i'd rather smoke I it's just a personal smoke. preference with my green <laughs> i can't smoke i'll do edibles and you i'll be fucking waiting hours for you to get you up i'm just i'll get sick if i smoke you know I'll just go green. Well, I go think stone stories would be hilarious though. Well, what? Why, why do you look so curious? Oh, oh, he'll be, what? I've got a good one. Right. But after aid, I don't know what that means. I think it's misspelled. But after aid, as you know him. What? And he is genuinely a nice guy. Well, somebody ever said, I thought so too until he ghosted me. After aid? What? I don't know what the... I think that's misspelled. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, she gives me the story anyway. But apparently I know him. Okay. Oh my God. (gasps) You know this bloke? Apparently. Okay. Oh my God. I need to figure this out. I will not sleep. (laughs) Well, you can um, reply to her. Okay, here we go. Part one. Oh, it's a five-parter. Okay. Part one. Hot guy slides into my DMs. We bond over our love for dogs and our recent breakups. He even had told me to text him instead of my ex to stop me texting my ex. What a sweetheart. All right. Uh, so a few weeks later, he said, I don't know anybody sound like this. <laughs> Men I know are trash. Uh, so a few weeks later, he sends me a suggestive text about calling around for a quickie before work. Right. Which I've never done before with someone that I've never met. At this stage, I realized he knew people. So I, know, I knew. So I thought, fuck it. Yeah, why not? So glad he came around. We had great sex and promised to meet up the following week to hang out. Obviously, I thought he was just a hit and run guy, but he texted me that very night and kept up the conversation. Oh, look at you. You're like putting him through the paces. Yeah. Then COVID hit. We made promises to meet up throughout the summer and even helped me plan what to do for my birthday, which never happened due to COVID. So by Christmas, he had ghosted me. I copped on when he stopped seeing the Instagram reactions that I'd send. I would send a reaction to the story and then not replying to my million and one messages joking. I took the hint when he didn't respond to a few of my texts within the month. He was going through a hard time and I text him saying hope he was okay and I got nothing so I've left him be but he is genuinely a nice guy as well that's what everybody's saying about him so I presume it was something going on for him as well as to why I got ghosted lol or maybe just not that into me hi I'm very much hoping this is anonymous I don't know you though so how do I... okay yeah I get you I'm gonna say okay I need to I need to know who this is. I need more background. How I know this person. Who is this person? Like, show me the message so I can look at it. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just so, so sorry that I can look into the DMs and have a little look at it. See, can I, I decide for who, who it is? is. Yeah, that's fucking, what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to go book wild. Yeah. Who is this guy? Here we go. Part one. How do I know him? Hot guy slides into my DMs. Yeah. Yeah. What did she say? Huh? I have a good one, but after age. Yeah. But after eight, as you know him, and he is genuinely a nice guy, well, so everyone says, I thought, till he ghosted me. I need to know who this... Oh my gosh, she's replying. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> this, it's so quick. It's so quick. So quick. Um, hilarious. I'm catching up. Um, so I only just got a chance to listen to the parents episode. Oh, okay. So this oh, is... Oh, that's for the Patreon. Uh, I, okay. I, I, uns- I saved that. Unsaved that. Oh, sorry. You yeah. unsaved that. Right. Let me say it. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. I'm no good at this fucking... You're trying to figure out who this person is. I'm trying to figure out who this person is. Yeah, for sure. Um... Uh, okay, uh, not exactly a ghost story, but I have an ex-friend or two who I'm sure if you ask them about me, they say 
they'd say that I ghosted them. The reality is I realised I was always the one having to reach out, make the effort, etc. all the time. One day I just decided I wasn't going to text them again until I heard them heard from them for us for a change, sorry. Uh, and I haven't heard from them since. That was October 2018 and this was somebody I considered my quote-unquote best friend. We still see each other... Um, a lot in the local pub and we just smile and walk on a bit awkward but moral of the story i don't waste my time watering dead plants anymore i like your analogy watering dead plants that's very cool yeah the plot is thickening over here okay hit me up so i said i need to know how i know this person yeah apparently you and jen know him that's (gasps) right i can't he's such a nice guy and he also has a girlfriend i thought me and him were mates as we've seen oh i know who this is before she even writes back i think i do know who this is (laughs) 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 okay we can leave the people hanging on though that's that's bad we leave it there this episode is cut off we're ghosting you (laughs) he was on podcast before (laughs) (laughs) he's on patreon (laughs) right have you got an unpopular opinion of the week i do still in shock i know yeah i'm after <laughs> writing back to her with the name she's typing oh god um what's your popular opinion come on like, you need to keep this going i I'm feel sorry, like we're after I'm like sorry. storing for the last fucking Blip. 10 minutes or Blip. something Blip. it's supposed we're having these active open <gasps> he's in, he was insane in bed she said is it who we think it yeah. is <gasps> <gasps> that makes sense yeah that makes sense I love this message <sighs> and i feel bad because we're not telling anybody what's going on okay but we go. have had like 12 different guys on that we yeah, have, yeah. So, so if you're on Patreon, <laughs> yeah. now's the time to sign up. Yeah. You can probably figure out who the fuck it is. Um, right. Okay, What's cool. your unpopular opinion? So, uh, my popular opinion, I'm so fucking all over the shop now. Sidetracked. Is Marks and Spencer's food is not that good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think I've said actively before, I'm looking at your bag of crisps there from Marks and Spencer's. And this is, this is what I'm saying. They're I spent not, six euro they're on They're not fucking, finished. No, they're not. They're absolutely not. It used to be good. So anybody out there, if you have worked in Marks or if you know anything about this, I feel like the quality has definitely d- declined. Okay. They, re- they really aim at the good food. And I, they fe- I feel like they've changed like the ingredients. Yeah. I feel like they've changed many things. And I feel like it just doesn't hit the way that it used to hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stop texting her. Sorry. <laughs> It just doesn't hit the way that it used to. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I feel that way as well. I feel... Sorry. Well, no, in fairness, I don't... I'll, I don't uh, even go into m and all that often. I've heard of people saying, like... And in fairness, when I'm walking past their little, like, posters, and they're like, this is like a three-course meal with a bottle of wine for 14 quid. And I'm like, that's good. Yeah, M&S, they do have And, like, they have they those have good, good deals. deals and, yeah, like, yeah. you know, a full-on... um, Like, great ideas and stuff yeah, like that. yeah. Um, and they just seem healthier, even though they're probably not. They're definitely not. They're definitely not. It's just because they're obnoxious. Um, <laughs> Their packaging is <laughs> yeah. just like, it just works. It's so obnoxious. It? Yeah. yeah, it's stupid. It's like, you can get three pieces of bacon for 10 euro. And you're yeah. like, yeah, that wow. makes sense. Wow, bargain. <laughs> bargain. Absolute yeah. bargain. Fuck That's you, Aldi. A fucking bargain. Fuck you, Aldi. Yeah, no, I think they really in and it was good. But like everything else, it's just gone to shit. They just, they I just feel like pulled away the flame. I just feel like I had this idea of what it was, and the more I eat it, the more I'm like, "Yo, yeah, and get this there elsewhere." Yeah, is not hitting the way that it was. It used to be hitting. Maybe food in general isn't hitting the way that it used to be hitting. Yeah, maybe I'm overindulged. Maybe that wouldn't shock me. Maybe it's time to broaden your horizons. Like go to only, go to an Asian market. It's like you know, go to I go to an a Asian Polish shop every single weekend. Go to a yeah. Polish shop. I also go to those. Well, oh. Tom goes more than me. Okay. He likes to walk down to the one. Well, I don't know what the fuck else to say to you, Carla. Okay, well, I'm just saying, it's just an unpopular opinion that I have. I don't know how how you guys feel. I feel like Marks and Spencer's, I should probably put this up as a poll as well. Mm-hmm. I feel like the food, from m it's not hitting. It's, it doesn't slap. It does not slap. <laughs> it doesn't slap. It does not slap. As much as they say that. It, it does not slap the way that we feel like it should yeah. slap. You know? Mm. Um... And that's a problem. That's a, this is a problem. For the price that we pay, it's a problem. That's a problem. Percy Pigs are all them. Mm. Yeah, that's the, the rules. Have you got a stomp of the week? Give me a moment. Just m- it's remember, such a quick. it's such a quick jingle. I know. We need to <laughs> extend the jingle. We I'm need still to reading look, from. Uh, oh, God, she's writing. But see, this is the thing. 
that girl I was trying to write back and now she's after writing back saying oh my god I'm Marto and I haven't had a chance to write back yeah, to her and this that's is rude, the fucking thing she's so like, real no, she's, she's really like oh, yeah, oh my god like, no, she's gonna, the fear she has the fear I'm going to um, I'll voice her um, have you got your stomper Carla's stomper of the week really want to change that jingle do you yeah for fuck's sake right, put it music. on the list we could do a funky. you just want it longer I want it like never ready. Okay. Auto tune. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Do you know? Okay. Yeah. I just right. think it would be right. or like you know. Like is there not? John there is the an auto tune app, isn't there? Or at least yeah. like a, a filter on TikTok. If or something. Travis Scott can do it, I can. Absolutely. Um, but I I just think you can imagine her like Lil John in the background. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not yeah. sure. Uh, okay, go for. It. That's Lil John. He's singing in the background. Yeah, he does that. Yeah, well, well okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's him. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And then Usher yeah, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he's in the background, just like yeah. vibing. Yeah. Anyway. L- Little John is in a lot. He's rude. He's in like, is he? Yeah, he's fucking rude. He fucking I told you the story on Patreon. Little John, I'm fucking rude. I've okay. My memory's just anyway. on Patreon. Um. So this is um. This is a little kind of r and banger, okay. if you will. It's by Chloe by Halley. Chloe and Halley. Chloe by Halley. It's like an ex, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, like, they're not splitting up their sisters, but they're not splitting up. But uh, Chloe is dropping her solo, solo album, and I'm very excited because she has the voice of an angel. Okay. Well, they both do. Um, but this is one of their songs from their uh, first album, which was Ungodly Hour, and it's called Forgive Me. And it's just yes. a good, like, screamer. Okay. You know? So not a stomper, a screamer. A screamer. Do we need a new playlist? Screamer, as we... Well, okay. Um, it's just, it's again, it's not like a brand new track. Um, yeah. Are you guys liking these, I by the way? I feel like, well, Steve and Jay Doyle mentioned the two of us during the week. He, yeah. likes, he likes our playlist. They love our playlist. And then I see that the playlist has likes and I'm like, oh, this is crazy. People actually listen to this shit. Yeah. Um, but no, you know it is like, good. But I feel like anytime, I'm just like so out of... Like yeah, I will hear a song and I'm like, yeah, I recognise that. But when you tell me like artist names, um, like artist like the song, yeah, the, you're just like cool. Yeah, I'm like, he, he. I'm like the I I feel like fucking Pat Kenny who has somebody really young on a show, you know, and I'm just Pat like Kenny yeah. in an interview in JoJo Siwa. Yeah, that's how you or feel. Or Lil Nas or something, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. So, be like, so very it's cool. Called Pretty Green Eyes is by Ultra Beat. Yeah. Very good song. <laughs> Very yeah, good song. That's literally me. I like I'm like, yeah, okay. be like yeah, you I could play a, a video, a music video on Mew and I'd be like, Don't know who that is. It's called uh, Calvin Harris. <laughs> yeah, don't know who that is. Absolutely no idea. But um if you, if I hear it on the radio, I'm like, Yeah, okay, crap. Where is Calvin Harris? I don't know, it's probably just going on there. Huh? Who's he riding these days? Where, yeah. whoever he's riding, that's where he is. That's where he is. Very that's true. Where he is. Um, we're going to go and record our Patreon episode now. So if you would like to join us over there, we our episodes get released the day after this. Or if you're if you're listening to this on a Monday, have a little binge. Come on over there. Have a binge. Have a little binge. Have a binge. Uh, thanks for all of your contributions, as always. Um, love to hear from you guys. And Obvious. we will talk to you next week. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah, I, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Shit. Fuck. <laughs>